never going to live like this anymore. I don't want to be alone for the rest of my life. No more being jealous and angry, because somewhere out there, there's a friend waiting for me. Watch out, can so go and get ready for a new Parsi. It's amazing. Watch how OxyClean unleashes the power of oxygen, making tough stains disappear like magic. Without I have a feeling I'm forgetting something, something colors. important. For pet messes, OxyClean is a must. Oh my down, goodness, I forgot to check on my veggie pot pie. And the odor. I actually forgot to turn on the stupid thing. I'm not putting anyone. I'm supposed to be going outside and make friends. I said I was going to wait till Valentine's Day was over, but that was months ago at this point. And even then, Valentine's Day had already passed. Who am I kidding? I'm never going to make friends with my attitude. I might as well just stay home and watch TV. Parsi. Huh? Parsi Mizuhashi. Ah, a burglar. Parsi, do you not recognize me? No way, it can't be. Yes, it is I, the Hashiimi of legend. What are you doing in my house? It's been over a thousand years since I became a yokai, but my anger has not diminished. My vexation continues to rage, but I tired of it now. I've actually calmed down and now wish to let bygones be bygones. Unfortunately, the curse of the Hashiimi continues despite my efforts. But you are the one who will finally end this curse. Me? Every UK that calls themselves Hashiimi has this curse run deep into their core, but you may be an exception. You have shown the will to change, and that may be all that is needed. Parsi, go out and make friends with others. Over time, the curse will eventually disappear, our anger will cease. I will finally be able to pass on to the next life, and you will finally become the bridge princess. Yes, I will do it. I'll do it if you believe in me. And now I must go. Farewell, Parsi. Alright, I'm outside now. The first hurdle has been overcome. Now it's time to make some friends. But how do I do that? This seems hard. I don't want to talk to these stupid idiots anyway. I have to stop talking like that. If I want to lift the curse, then I'm going to have to make a change. Fine, if I'm finding it hard to talk to a normal person, then I'm going to have to find someone more pathetic than me, so when I can boss around, that's the type of best friend I want. If you ain't got the cash, don't bother coming in. But the sign says three breadsticks and a drink. With the purchase of a meal. Why is the text so small on that part? Hey there, uh, are you... Uh, uh, what is that word I'm looking for? Are you trying to ask me if I'm okay? Yeah, that... I'm sorry, but what is this gesture? So I couldn't help but notice. Are you... Uh... Uh... Am I okay? Yeah, that... I wanted a glass of water and something to eat, but I couldn't afford anything. I had to get on my knees and beg for some scraps, but they relentlessly kicked me out. It's not funny, it's not funny. Don't feel sorry for me. This is a common occurrence. I should be used to it by now. Wow, you seem down and dumped. 
You also wear ragged clothes, it's more like a thousand soiled diapers. You're so pathetic, I'm so jealous I could murder a bystander. But no, I don't want to be jealous of you. That would be a major problem. But you seem even worse than I am. I should have standards about who I'm jealous of. Yeah, thanks. But instead of making fun of you, at least publicly, I'm going to help you. You will? I'm no longer the jealous girl everybody knows. I'm the new Parsi Musuhashi, no one who helps people, and you'll be my first non-victim. Non-victim? I don't know what the opposite of victim is, but you'll be my first. And it looks like you hit hard times, but don't worry, I'll help you find a job so you can get back on your feet, so you won't have to beg for scraps anymore. I already have a job. You do? I work at a pizza place, but I'm more of a surf than an employee to Chimera. I also serve Kaneko of the Moria Shrine. She sometimes makes me clean up the radioactive ooze from the nuclear fusion machine. I also serve Okina, who makes me do her errands. I don't know what's in those heavy sacks she wants me to throw away. And considering that I hear low groaning noises from them, I don't think I want to know. You work at a pizza place? And don't you get free pizza? The fact that I'm the one handling the food is the reason why I don't want to eat it. But if you have a job, why couldn't you just buy a meal? Because I don't get paid. They don't pay you? That means you can't afford a place to stay. That's hilariously terrible, but you don't have to worry about that. You can live with me. I live in a house next to a bridge. We can be roomies. I already have a place to stay. Come. Huh? Well, if you count the pizzeria as a home, Chimita lets me sleep inside one of the cupboards, provided that I sanitize it afterward. But it's not like she checks anyway. But even if I couldn't, I can always stay at the Hakari Shrine. Ramos has terrible luck when it comes to money. I merely add to the atmosphere like a law known. Okay, that's kind of weird, but still, wouldn't you rather live in a nice warm house instead? You don't even have a family to stay with. I bet they abandoned you and left you to fend for yourself. That's shameful. How could they do this to their own flesh and blood? I do have family I can go to. Really? I have a sister. She's very haughty and greedy. She also constantly harasses and belittles me. Sometimes she even puts a spider in my mouth while I sleep. For reasons I can't figure out to this day. But despite all that, she will never abandon me. Whenever I'm in trouble, she will be there to bail me out. And when I'm hungry and she has a loaf of bread, I can always count on her to give me the crumbs left over in the toaster. And despite our differences, we will always have our sisterly bond. Whenever we think of a get-rich-quick scheme, I like to think that deep down, she truly does love me, when she can find some way to profit from me. But she sounds horrible, so horrible that I want to shake her hand. You're living a horrible life surrounded by horrible people. It's so horrible, very horrible, your life is horrible. Yeah, I've been meaning to buy a thesaurus, but you know what? I'll be your friend. I'll be your loyal friend who will never abuse you, or at least I'll try not to. So don't worry anymore. You won't have to deal with tyrants or using you for slave labor, or family that abuses you for their own amusement. I'll be your best friend forever. I already have a friend. No, you don't. Yes, I really do. No, that's impossible. You smell worse than rotten napalm. But it's true. Her name is Tenshi. She's a celestial. Now I know you're lying. There's no way celestial would make friends with anyone down here in the dirt. And you're practically made out of 15% of all the dirt from Jensokyo. subterranean nuclear furnace and had a bit too much radiation with that face of yours. Did I not mention that I don't get a hazmat suit? 
You're practically wearing rice and are an anorexic walking skeleton. And you smell like the collective odor of ever red moth ever. Nobody would envy you ever. Even I only feel marginally envious about your situation. That's a feeling of itself. Yet you have steady employment, a place to stay, family and your time of need. And even if you didn't have any of that, you are friends with a freaking celestial. The most prestigious, privileged, upper class race can Sokyo has ever known. What are you doing begging for food? You should be eating steak and lobster and being a studio rich girl who looks down on people like any normal person desires to be. You don't understand. I'm a poverty goddess. I can't have nice things. A goddess? One of the highest life forms here in Gensokyo? I said I was a poverty goddess. And my sister is a goddess of pestilence. We're the most despicable of all goddesses. What does that matter? You're still a higher form of being. Oh my gosh, you really are the worst. You have people out here starving in the streets, can't buy clothes for their children, end up being eaten by yokai, and the world can't get a hit in no matter how hard they try. I kind of feel ashamed thinking back when I used to laugh at them, when I was the one who was sneering at them, and when I ate that one child by accident. Oh, my yokai, by the way, in case you can't tell. Yet you, who was born under our lucky star, and hit the jackpot in the lottery of life, have the audacity to complain. Stop it. You don't understand my powers. I only bring bad luck to everyone, including myself. I don't deserve any of this. If I acknowledge this as good fortune, I'll just lose it all in the end. Stop making excuses. You're so pathetic that you can't even see how good your life is. You make me sick, both physically and emotionally. I want you to die. Die right now. Die, 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 die. <laughs> Well, hello there! It's me! Do I know you? You don't remember me? Remember back in the fireworks festival we had some time ago? Oh, yeah. You were one of the judges. Remember what I said last time? That we should hang out someday. Well, it's someday now. Oh, that's right. You did say that. Now I remember you. Sumireko, right? Yeah, it's all coming back to me. Sorry, I kind of forgot about you. Oh, don't worry about it because it's okay. I guess that's what happens when you're not a playable character or even make a cameo in the ending. Yeah, that's right. What? <laughs> And now I must go. Farewell, Parsi. Farewell, Paro. I must obstum. Farewell, Po. Parsi's well. You say hey, no, you. What happened to your missing mom? I had to eat it.